hello again in this tutorial I'd like to explain to you uh, some of the data types that are used by MySQL I'm actually uh, recording this video again because last time I was uh, speaking and explaining stuff and things like that and I thought I was recording but I wasn't so I'm doing this again just wait a few minutes ago now uh, the first type that I want to explain is integer where we can save uh, and store integer numbers uh, this can be signed or unsigned when we say signed that means it can be either negative or positive can save or store negative or positive numbers or unsigned i.e. from zero unsigned meaning it's always positive uh, or zero so from zero and only positive numbers so if it's not signed then the range is from zero to two to power 32 to 12 32 if you do that in your calculator uh, it's four billion two hundred ninety four million 900,000 but in the calculator this 5 will appear as 6 it's 5 here because 0 is included so we go 1 down there and if it's uns if it's signed it can be negative or positive so we'll have 2 to power 16 in the negative side 0 and then 2 power 15 2, po 2 to power 16 minus 1 in the positive side that's why there's 7 here and there's 8 here because 0 is included right now for int that's for that range of numbers of course this depends on our requirement requirements but we have tiny int which is another type for smaller uh, uh, we have small int medium int or big int again de depending on our requirements please double check the, the uh, specifications and documentation of my SQL and there you will find more information that should suit your requirements now for numbers or for th th that have decimal points for real numbers we have float we can have double this MD is about uh, the display length so how many numbers do we display and then the D is how many numbers go or how many digits I'm sorry how many digits go bef after the decimal point so MD if we say for example 10 to that's the default by the way is 10 to that means we can have a maximum of 10 digits with two of them after the decimal point as we said we have also double which is larger than that double check the uh, specifications of my SQL for date we have a type called date the format is four Y's for the year two M's for the month two D's for the day so the values can be between one zero 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 hyphen zero one hyphen zero one and nine 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 that's four nines I don't know how many I said and 1231 so for example May 17th 2007 would be stored as 2007-05-17 for date time it's just a combination between date and time the format is 4y's hyphen 2m's hyphen 2d's just want to repeat that mistake and then hh colon mm colon ss for, ha for hours uh, minutes and seconds so the values are between these values and these values for the dates uh, for date and time and this value for the maximum value for date and time 23 uh, colon 59 colon 59 so that's our minute and second so just an example 220 in the afternoon that's 220 p.m. Uh, July 8th 2014 would be stored as 2014 hyphen 07 08 and then 14 colon 20 colon 0 0 and then we have other time for example we have time stamp uh, uh, we can also store year on its own or time uh, in this format in this format whereas in this format here on its own again depending on our requirements and then for uh, for string types we have char m the char m now this is a fixed length string and the length can vary the number of characters can vary between 1 and 255 here uh, we don't have to specify a length the default is 1 but if, if we know that our character our, our string is for example uh, has for example you know 5 or 10 characters then we can specify that there but the default is 1 uh, usually the default is uh, uh, 1 now here uh, in in that in that uh, uh, char m the first one there we don't have to specify a length so the length there is 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 uh, optional 
However, for Varcha, which is the, the next type, is slightly longer now. I'm sorry, it's not, it's not slightly longer, but this is more flexible because the length can be variable. But we must specify a length. So we must say Varcha and then uh, uh, say the number there. You know, say for example, 50 or 25 or 100, depending on our requirements. We must specify. But the, the length can vary, it can be you know, empty, 1, 2, or even 50 up to the length that we have uh, specified. Blob or text, uh, this is just larger text, for example, a uh, larger num uh, number of, of characters. So the length for text is 2 to the power 16. Uh, blobs, you know, blob stands for binary large objects. So this field or this type can store either text or any binary data, for example, such as images or any other file types of so text or binary data. Uh, there's, there are more types, tiny blob, tiny text, medium blob or medium text, long blob or long text. Please go back to the documentation and specification of MySQL. Apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.